As the kidneys fail, they make less erythropoietin with fewer red blood cells to carry oxygen. Muscles and brain tire very quickly. This is called anemia. Feeling cold when others are warm. Anemia can make us feel cold all the time even in a warm room. Next is shortness of breath after very little effort. Being short of breath can be related to the kidneys in two ways. First, extra fluid in the body can build up in the lungs. And second, anemia due to shortage of oxygen carrying red blood cells. Trouble in thinking clearly. Anemia related to kidney failure means that the brain is not getting enough oxygen. This can lead to memory problems or trouble with concentration. Feeling very itchy. Kidney removes waste from the bloodstream. When the kidneys fail, the buildup waste in the blood can cause severe itching. Swelling in the hands or feet. Failing kidneys don't remove extra fluid, which build up in the body causing swelling in the leg, ankles, feet and hands. Swollen or puffy face. Failing kidneys do not remove extra fluid which build ups in the body causing swelling of the face. Food tastes like metal. Building of waste in the blood called uremia can make the food taste different and cause bad breath. We may also Notice that the patients like to stop eating meat or the patients are losing weight just because they don't feel like eating. Ammonia breath. The buildup of waste in the blood is called uremia and it can cause bad breath. Upset stomach. Nausea, vomiting. A severe buildup of waste in the blood can also cause nausea and vomiting. Loss of appetite can lead to weight loss. Getting up during the night to make urine. Kidneys make urine so when the kidneys are failing, patients may urinate more often in greater amount than the usual with pale colored urine. They may also feel the pressure or have difficulty in urinating. Foamy or bubbly urine. Kidneys make urine so the urine may be foamy or bubbly. This can lead to the above this normal amount of the protein in the urine. Brown, red or purple color urine may also be found. Pressure when urinating. Patient may feel pressure or have difficulty while urinating. So, how to slow down the kidney disease? Having the kidneys work even a little can help to feel better and live longer. If kidney disease is slowed, then we can also delay the need for treatment of the kidney failure. The types of changes might make to help the heart or rest of the body, it will help the kidneys too. So, some of the things which we can do to protect our kidneys are as follow. Keep the blood pressure in the target range. Even if the blood pressure was slow, it may be high when there is kidney disease. It is normal in kidney disease to need more than one blood pressure medicine. So check the blood pressure at home. Keep a log of the results. Exercise can help lower blood pressure too. Keep blood sugar in the target range. High blood sugar harms the blood vessels including the nephrons in the kidneys. So, if there is diabetes, the doctor will give target for fasting blood sugar and for 2 hours after eating. Test the blood sugar often to see how it changes based on what you eat and how active you are. Cut back on added sugars and refined carbohydrate like bread, cake and rice. Take walk or find other ways to be active. Take the diabetes medicines as prescribed by the physician. Lose weight if you are overweight. The more people weight, the faster their kidney function falls. This is true even if there is no diabetes or high blood pressure. 
It is hard to lose weight, but it can be done, and there are many ways that can work. So have hope and lose weight. If you are overweight, don't drink soda. Drinking of one or more regular sodas a day can lead to kidney damage. And if if the kidney is already damaged, the sodas can make the damage even more faster. If you smoke or use drugs, try to quit. Smoking and most street drugs can harm the kidneys. There are a number of ways to quit smoking. From nicotine patches, gums or e-cigarettes. Even cutting back may help. If you use the street drugs, you may need a rehabilitation program. Balance the blood pH. A healthy blood pH is between 7.38 and 7.42. When the kidneys don't work well, they can fail to keep the acid-base balance in the body. Acid can build up from the protein food that we eat. Grains and protein foods like meat, eggs, dairy, beans and peas from acid waste when they break down. So, the body needs protein from muscles and self-repair. But most of us eat a lot more protein than we need. A low acid diet with lot of vegetables is one way to keep the kidneys last longer. Eat less protein. When protein breaks down, it forms blood urea nitrogen. Removing blood urea nitrogen is hard on the kidney. When you eat less protein, less blood urea nitrogen is formed, which can help the kidneys last longer. Eat less phosphorus. Phosphorus is found in meat, poultry, fish, dairy, nuts, beans and cola drinks. Weak kidneys can't remove as much as phosphorus from blood. When the phosphorus levels are too high, the bones can become weak. Limit shellfish. It is wise to cut back on shellfish if you eat it a lot. Skip canned food. Most of the canned food are lined with bisphenol. Bisphenol has been linked with high blood pressure, diabetes and obesity. Bisphenol has been tend to um many of the canned foods tend to be very high in salt or sugar and highly processed too. Avoid certain pain pills. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are prescribed for pain. They can cause kidney damage. Kidneys need a strong blood flow to work. The non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, they reduce the blood flow into and out of the kidneys. In most of the cases, it takes years of daily use to cause kidney disease. But once kidney disease is present, these drugs can make it far worse. So, if you take one tablet here and there and your kidneys still work, drink a full glass of water with it. If you need a contrast dye x-ray and you are prone to for kidney disease, as for precautions, the dye called gadolinium causes kidney damage. Dye used for MRI or CT scan is injected into the vein and it will pass through the kidneys. So, the drug can cause nephrogenic systemic fibrosis. So, if a doctor orders an x-ray dye test, ask if there are some other ways, like if an ultrasound would work. Antioxidants may help. Every cell in the body needs oxygen, but if there is too much oxygen in the wrong place, it can oxidize and cause damage, a lot like rust. Antioxidants help protect your cells and may help the kidneys. Some of the high potassium foods that we may need to limit. Avocados, bananas, beet, carrot juice, dried beans, peas, chickpeas, soybeans and lentils. Dried fruit, apricot, dates, figs, prunes. Enhanced fresh meat, fish, example clam, cod, halibut, salmon, trout. 
ஹாட் ஸ்குவாஷ் எக்ஸாம்பிள் அக்கான் அண்ட் பட்டர்நட் மேங்கோஸ் மெலன்ஸ் லைக் ஆன்டலூப் நான் ஃபேட் மில்க் மலாசஸ் நட்ஸ் ஆரஞ்சஸ் பொட்டாட்டோஸ் அண்ட் ஸ்வீட் பொட்டாட்டோஸ் சால்ட் சப்ஸ்டிடியூட் ஸ்பினாச் டொமேட்டோஸ் அண்ட் டொமேட்டோ ப்ராடக்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் யோக் ஹாட் லோ ஃபேட் சுகர்ஸ் அண்ட் ஸ்டார்ச் இஃப் ஓவர் வெயிட் ஆர் ஹேவிங் டேபிட்டஸ் ஈட்டிங் லெஸ் சுகர் அண்ட் ஸ்டார்ச்சி ஃபுட் கேன் ஹவ் பிக் பே ஆஃப் ஃபார் த ஹெல்த் லிமிட் ஸ்வீட் அண்ட் ஸ்டார்ச்சஸ் கேண்டி கார்ன் கார்ன் ப்ராடக்ட்ஸ் ட்ரைட் பீன்ஸ் பீஸ் லென்டில்ஸ் ஹாட் ஸ்குவாஷ் ஐஸ்கிரீம் பிளான்டைன்ஸ் பொட்டாட்டோஸ் அண்ட் ஸ்வீட் பொட்டாட்டோஸ் வீட் ப்ராடக்ட்ஸ் வைட் ரைஸ் so kidney disease is a risk factor for heart disease and stroke the same disease that harms the kidney also tend to damage the heart and blood vessels the good news is moving gets your blood pumping which boosts the blood flow to the kidneys and helps the heart so for the body exercise is a win win it may even help to slow the rate of progressing kidney disease the goal is 30 minutes of active exercise moving every day and the 30 minutes need not have to be all at once it can be broken into a 10 minute block so build up an exercise plan start slow build up time distance or wait slowly track the progress keep a log Walking is a great exercise. Take up some form of sport from bowling to tennis or badminton.